It was just towards the end of independence for Malaysia. So every, everybody, all the white people had to go back. And um, I went back and I was immediately put in another boarding school, an English boarding school. And uh, that was really horrible. Not just the boarding school, but the change from the Malaysian people and the way of life and the good food and um, the ambiance, you know, in general. And then to come back to England, which was cold and the people were very grey and uh, nobody was welcoming. They were all very uptight and so once again I had to learn how to deal with this. So more cerebral, I became, lived in my head, you know. And I became, later on I became a songwriter because the fantasies, because my imagination was very um, fertile, it was very big, <laughs> because it had to be. I had to create something from nothing. I, I didn't have any backup from family or friends and stuff. It's just, I realized very early on that we are alone, you know, we live our lives alone, even though we have friends or we make contact with people sometimes, it's like this, you touch and you go, you go. so meanwhile you, you live your own life, you know, and a lot of that is, is to do with your imagination, so if you develop your imagination, you have a better life, but it can work the other way in that um, you can also imagine bad things more than people who don't have very developed imagination. So, um, what was really good for me was writing songs and playing music and, and singing because uh, my imagination was in control. I had something to put out, you know, I, I could do something with all these uh, images and things that were happening in my brain. Um, and that was very satisfying. It was, I felt really good when I wrote a song that I liked um, and I knew I could record it and have an audience. And the uh, same with playing in concerts too. That also, um, when you, you know you, you, you are communicating with people, that it's not just, you know, you can actually feel it when it works. After I left school, after I left the boarding school, um, I decided to learn something because I didn't learn anything in school except how, maybe how to read and write. But um, so when I left school, I started reading a lot, um, any book, just from from any country, and the philosophy, the poetry, the um, the stories, the folk stories. I wasn't affected by any of the um, any of the philosophies. I didn't follow one or anything. The only influence I would say would be was that of Gurdjieff um, and his disciple. What was his name? Ospensky. They basically said uh, that we spend so much of our lives asleep, I don't mean in bed, just even when we're working or walking around, we don't see, we don't hear, we don't appreciate what's happening now. We're always thinking about the future and, or the past. Or, um, and I thought that was important. Um, something sh people should be more aware of and work. You have to you have to do things to, to stay awake, you know, to ha have your own alarm clocks that, that go ching when you find yourself sleeping and just... Um, but otherwise, it's just a lot of information from which I wrote my own impressions and my own um, music. That whole uh, school of, of surrealism and um, Pataphysics and all that was um, very much how I thought. It's, it's how most young people with um, inquiring minds, with who ask questions, um, 
they liked all that stuff because they were these people were challenging what was accepted by their parents, by society and things. And they were saying, well, you know, it's not like that actually. Have a look at this as well and look at that and have a choice in your life. You know, make make a choice. Make your own decisions. Don't let other people make and that everything that's put in front of you is not necessarily what it is, you know, or not true. So that's what I based I mean most of my my, my own work has been about that, one way or another, either with humor or with straightforward philosophical comment. You know. And now I'm just happy just to live day to day and be quiet. <laughs> The best comparison I can make is like a love affair, you know, when it's finished, it's finished. So you can be friends with someone, maybe, not always, <laughs> um, but you can never go back to, um, to what it was. And now I'm, I'm sure that uh, everything is very modern and uh, the picture I have, I, li I would like to keep, I don't want to go and see modern hotels and people on computers and uh, I have a very good picture and it was really good, I really enjoyed it but I don't want to go back because you can't go back. <laughs>